Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really, really excited to be here because we are finally building something I wanted to build for a really long time and it's Buckingham Palace in London, the official residence of the Queen of England and probably one of the most famous palaces in the whole world along with Versailles, I would say, because this place is really iconic and I think everyone knows it. This is probably my favorite palace after Versailles because in terms of architecture, interior design and elegance, I think there is no palace like Buckingham. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've never been there myself. I would like to, but um, as you probably know, it's only open in August during the summer when the Queen is in Scotland because when the Queen is in the palace, you cannot visit it. So it's open during three weeks in August, if I remember well. And she's in Balmoral, which is another castle where she stays during August with um, the um, Duke of Edinburgh. So this is something I wanted to build for a really long time, but I didn't feel like building it because I don't know, I thought that I wouldn't be able to do a um, accurate replica of it. But I gave it a try and I have to say I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I'm really proud of this build. It's probably one of the most luxurious builds I have ever done. Um, and yeah, the proportions are not really accurate because um, everything is not possible in The Sims 4, as you know. So the main problem is that the lot is too small, so the wings are not as long as they are in real life. But the shape of it is still the same as a real palace. And yeah, it was quite challenging because there are many uh, details, many architectural um, yeah, details and things that were not really possible to do, so I had to find some tricks to make it look like the real palace. Um, it's of course only one, um, one part of the palace, because as I told you, the lot is way too small and Buckingham is like a big square with an inner courtyard inside. It was not possible to fit it all on one lot. So I decided to only build um, the facade, the main uh, part of the building that we see as tourists when you're just in front of the gate of the palace. Um, and I didn't build the other wings because it was not possible. And I preferred to build the front side of it with this big um, kind of plaza with the fences and the big gates that are really iconic and everyone sees it when you go to London. This is really messy and I don't know, I was thinking that building this side of the palace was more recognizable and more um, iconic than the rest of the palace. And actually there aren't much pictures about the rest of the palace because, um, well, I don't know why, but there aren't much pictures of the garden side and of the inner courtyard. And even of the inter, only the state apartments are photographed and there is not much um, about the other rooms because I think uh, this is still an inhabited palace so that's probably why the, we cannot see all the rooms. Uh, unlike Versailles for example where there are pictures of every room because this is now a museum but you have to have in mind that Buckingham Palace is not a museum or anything, it's just a house, actually, is the house of the queen. So yeah, that's probably why. And I built, of course, the exterior and also some of the rooms in the interior. So we don't have much information about the rooms uh, on this side. Uh, only the center room, which is actually the room um, where there's the big balcony. And we also know that there's a... Um, private dining room with a Chinese decoration but they're only old pictures and it was actually quite hard to recreate a Chinese themed dining room in The Sims so what I decided to do is to get inspired by the state apartment which are actually in another wings and I was inspired by those rooms and I 
recreated them in um, the wings that I built. So this is not accurate. Those rooms shouldn't be here, but I wanted to build the interior. I didn't build all the rooms, only the first floor with um, five stage rooms. There's a room inspired by the white drawing room, which is probably one of the most impressive rooms in Buckingham Palace. Um, there's only one thing that I couldn't do is the ceiling, of course, because we don't have all the elements to create such uh, vaulted ceilings with uh, many details. So for the, those are just normal rooms, if I can say. And of course, I use many items by Felix Sander in Gym 07. Mostly for Alexander, but some of them were Gem 7, and I think also regal sims for the paintings. So there's this white drawing room, and after that there's a dining room which is actually not accurate at all, it's just something that I invented for the build, so there's probably no room that looks like this one um, in Buckingham Palace because the walls are from the Chateau de Fontainebleau in France, the trims and the columns are from Versailles, the chandeliers are also from Versailles. Um, but it's not totally stupid because um, if you get interested in Buckingham Palace you will see that many of the furniture or the decoration items are coming from France because the King of England during the revolution, the French Revolution, bought a lot of items from Versailles especially and from other uh, royal castles and palaces in France. So there are really a lot of French furniture in Buckingham Palace and I think there are probably more French furniture in Buckingham Palace than in Versailles because they're, the king really bought whole what he can't, whole what he was able to, to buy at this time and it's quite interesting, but still, the palace remains really British. There's something, you know, it's tr it's hard to, to describe, but you feel that you're in Britain when you're in the palace, I think. Just like when you're in Versailles or in Fontainebleau, it looks really French. There is something about the design that looks really British in Buckingham, according to me. So there's this dining room, and also I recreated kind of the center room. Uh, I think it's not accurate at all, but still, it's a nice room. Uh, I really wanted each of the rooms to be really luxurious with a lot of details, so it took me quite a while to figure out how I would do. <coughs> Excuse me, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And what was challenging for me is to give it, uh, as I said, a British spirit or a British twist. And as I'm not British, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to figure out what makes it so British. Um, I thought it could be the colors, so I use mainly white and kind of um, really light brown or creme colors, which I think are really elegant. And this is something that you can see in an English palace. After the center room, there's uh, an, a room inspired by the green drawing room, which is um, a mix of the actual drawing room and of my imaginations. So um, this is also a... because when we say drawing room, this is not a room where you're drawing something, it's just a living room, kind of. Um, and in most palaces or castle, the living rooms are called drawing rooms. So don't expect to draw anything in these rooms. Um, I put many paintings everywhere. I was trying to find something that doesn't look French because um, most of the custom content paintings that I have are French, but I have a set of some English looking paintings. I'm not sure who are the people represented on the paintings, but I think they're English. Um, I think one of the guy I put there is a former king of England. I cannot tell which one because I'm not really a specialist about British monarchy, even it's really interesting. And by the way, if you're interested in um, British monarchy, I really recommend you to watch um, the Netflix series The Crown, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you won't see much of Buckingham because um, they didn't 
film in Buckingham, the film only in Lancaster House, which is a beautiful house in London and some other locations, but not really in Buckingham. So yeah. And finally, this last room of our palace is the throne room, of course, which is still inspired by the actual throne room, but as I said, I was not able to recreate the ceiling and the lot was too small, so I couldn't fit it all. So it is inspired by it, but not 100% accurate, but it still looks cool. I think um, really majestic. Um, really English with this color, I would say, and yeah, I'm really happy about all these rooms. It's just beautiful and I didn't um, have in mind when I started building this that we look this way. And of course, I built a big corridor, which I didn't record because it was, I think it would be quite boring to see me furnishing a corridor, but a corridor is really impressive and you will see it in the screenshots. Um, you could actually leave in this corridor because there's so many uh, beautiful items. <laughs> there are chairs, tables, paintings, uh, flower buckets, um, beautiful chandeliers, and there's yeah, so many things to see here. Um, I also built a an office on the ground floor because, as you know, many people are working at Buckingham and I was thinking that someone uh, would need an office and there are actually a lot of offices for the people that are working here which are organizing the life in Buckingham Palace. So I created a um, an office, not too luxurious, not too not luxurious, <laughs> something really elegant, but not too much. So. Yeah, and then that's it, because I didn't want to build every single um, kitchen, bathroom or anything, because this is not a lot that's meant to be played with, so it's just for decoration, you know, so uh, actually there's no way to go upstairs, there's no uh, staircase, there's nothing, so if you want to put a sims in this room, so you have to use the testing sheets sheet and uh, you have to use the teleportation which is kind of funny for Buckingham to use teleportation it's a bit more it's a bit too modern for the for the place I would say and on the second floor I didn't build anything just a big empty space um, but as I said we don't know what is located on this floor we have no idea of the rooms that are here um, there's no pictures there's it's also really hard to find a floor plan of the palace and I didn't find it for this wing. Um, there's only a small floor plan of the state apartments, but that's all. And yeah, it's kind of frustrating because there are so many rooms in Buckingham. There are more than 100 rooms, if I re uh, no, 1000 rooms, if I remember well. Um, but actually it's quite mysterious. This palace is quite mysterious. We don't know much about it and yeah. I think this is what makes it so fascinating because uh, we don't know much about Buckingham. And by the way, for this build, I bought a fantastic book, which is called uh, Buckingham Palace, The Interiors. It was released this summer and this is a beautiful book uh, with only amazing photographs of the palace, of the state apartments made by Ashley Eakes, which is kind of connected to the royal family and he had the access to the palace. To take pictures and the books is absolutely stunning and it gave me a lot of inspiration for this build so this is one of the most beautiful books that i own and yeah i stared at it during hours just seeing the pictures was making me crazy it's so beautiful so um i really hope you enjoyed this build i had a lot of fun building it and according to me this is one of the most beautiful builds i've ever done in the sims Really happy with the way it turned out, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.